This is really weird. We saw a documentary about this last year, but this is another documentary about the same subject, and it's by a filmmaker called Kevin MacDonald, who's a very good documentary filmmaker. Another Whitney film. Yeah. Maybe you need to be more revealed. Oh, yeah. Strikes upon the hour and the sun begins oh. to fade. Oh, you think they'd make another one? Yeah, so I think there might have been a race on to release the mm -hmm. two Whitney documentaries and the first one was rushed out. And if you think about it, that would explain why it's co-directed by the person who supplied most of that VHS footage of them, uh, you know, during mm. their tour. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if there's room in the market and what they're going to do differently. Mm. I like the trailer as well. Yeah. That was all footage. Did it do very well, the first one? It didn't do as well as people thought it would. No. It didn't do as well as the Amy documentary. Well, no. it was nowhere near as good as And I Amy. think it was trying to originally, I think it was very directly trying to emulate the success of Amy. I'm Are you a fan of Whitney? Already. I mean, I didn't buy her records, but mm. I was a, she was a great, well, she was gifted, wasn't mm. she? She just was gifted with that voice. Mm. Fascinating story, mm. fascinating that she went from the gospel girl and what was, we thought was the squeaky clean Whitney, yeah, we'd never yeah. really know. We all believed for years it was Bobby Brown that had introduced yes. her to drugs, and then there's all the rumours that she was taking drugs before. Yeah. And of course, working in show business myself, there were all the rumours about, oh. for years, about her lesbian yes love yeah. alleged lesbian affair yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah so when i was a teenager she was just this goddess and then it was just the crumbling down i always remember her being quite sort of blamange though she was very safe but, she was not yeah. sort of she didn't have she sort was of, just she thought of as a good christian yeah, gospel, a good gospel singer girl. i think the most interesting fact in the first documentary was that she didn't want to be pop singer yes she wanted to be more r&b yeah yeah she did yeah. she wanted to be doing more of her own music yeah. the bar is incredibly high since the amy documentary yeah you've got a you've really got to deliver and pack a punch a very strong punch because mm. i think amy is probably the absolute benchmark yeah it was amazing of documentary filmmaking i have to confess i was a bit of a bobby brown fan I had a couple of records by him. Really? I've heard some of his music and I think it's quite good. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, his big hits were brilliant. Yeah. It's my yeah. prerogative. My prerogative. My prerogative. 